Welcome to Andorra. I'm going to show you 10 places in Andorra which you should visit. At the moment, I am in La Casa de la... De la Valle? De la Valle. I am in La Casa de la Valle. Let's go. Casa de la Valle was built in the 16th century for the Basket family. In 1702, it changed its purpose from being a home to them to a council general at the Parliament of Andorra and used as a headquarter until 2011, until they changed to the new building. Old building behind me and the new one on the side. Welcome to the shopping streets of Andorra. There is no tax in Andorra. There is 4.5 uh, tax just for maintenance and everything, but you can just call that no tax at all because that is super cheap and it makes lots of things very affordable. People come here to buy tobacco, alcohol, and these type of things is like really, really cheap. Um, also, like if you buy electronics and clothes, it's cheaper than Spain and Europe, but not that much. But it's still cheaper. Like uh, some things that cost us a thousand something, maybe. Like we've seen it in the other shop, uh, a, a, a computer that cost us 846, costed like 600 and something. So 200 euro difference. That's pretty good. You know, like you can you can buy something else with 200 euros. I forgot to add that. Perfume is also cheap. And for this price and here it's this price. It's amazing. See like the prices are half. Okay, there is this slide that you see, you see right here. This slide is the longest slide in the world. We didn't have enough time to go see it or you know or do this activity, but you can come and do it when you're here if you have like you know oh wait if you like this uh, adrenaline type of activity or sport that's an amazing thing to do so let's do it add it to your list museo de fabrica de rage this place is an amazing place you definitely have to see the way they put everything is so wonderful and very how do you say it Ex explains everything by itself it, uh, we didn't need no guide everything is just super amazing and it taught us also about Andorra's economy, uh, how it, it grow economically because of the tobacco business. And I definitely recommend you to come and see it because it just kind of makes your visit to Andorra a little bit more special because Andorra's story from the tobacco business and specifically from this factory because they were the first uh, factory and the first people who actually made a tobacco business. So yeah, there is another jam. It's called Museum de Fabrica de Reggie. <laughs> I am in La Iglesia de Santa Colomb. It's super beautiful. All of this, all of this was full of paintings, very, very beautiful paintings, just like was inside. The inside, I have never seen in my entire life anywhere the way they, they show uh, how to, preser to pres uh, preserve a place and how to show how it used to be inside. The way they show it is just incredible. If they show this the same way, like if we did this, the same way they're doing it here in Ethiopia with those beautiful churches, those beautiful paintings. Oh my God. Hola corazón, como esta bonito? <laughs> okay, a cute little baby said hello. So I had to stop this video. So anyways, if they conserve, if they show and conserve, conserve. If they show it like that, oh my God. But I give them props for doing this because this amazing place they just they i mean the paintings are not here anymore because of the time and the outside they just curved curved them out to maintain with the outside look of the other buildings through time because of the architecture kept changing but the inside also the same like it's not all of them is not there there's only a little piece uh, because at some point also it showed us it showed us in the other um, 
a spot where they have like a, an art gallery type of thing that explains how uh, they were taking off the paintings but here they managed to show uh, they managed to show in a very modern way with graphics how it used to be the paintings and it is just amazing just check this out <laughs> so many beautiful arts and statues and all of these amazing things in Andorra everywhere you stop you see like this amazing art or statue or be beautiful building or it's just something great so you have to stop so it's kind of been hard for me to reach to my destinations because I keep stopping to see things like this one so cool there are incredible amount of beautiful art scattered around the city since we're talking about the topic of art, let me teach you word of the day. Word of the day is tebeb. Tebeb means art. Okay, the next spot is this. I can't really pronounce it. It's Lac de Ingolastres. It has a lake, a mirador, like a way to look, restaurants, and you can do all of these activities like cycling, walking, water games, uh, lots of stuff there's restaurants uh, right here yeah so we're just gonna walk in there and try to find the uh, this lake now get ready for this walk there's a bicycle trail so have an adventure camp inside here so cool zip line thingies to walk around and then we have a court I don't know what you call that activity they have that <laughs> Oh, it's very beautiful you can do some fishing you can walk around here there are people over there making a mini party up there over there but and there are people over there fishing so yeah it's a beautiful spot wow look at this with the sky the mountain and the water and to me fabulous oh. So if you want a bit of shopping, but it's still like really nice restaurants, you come to this street. What is it called? Because I can't pronounce it. Kalimain. Kalimain. Yeah. Oh, look at me pronouncing Catalan and everything. Uh, so uh, Kalimain is a really... Oh, look. Oh, light. Okay, green light. Uh, there's a lots of shops in the street. And at the same time, there are lots of uh, nice restaurants and cafes and, and bars. Like down there. Okay. Yeah. Like, you just and, and it's a nice walkway it's like it's only uh, for walking you can't really drive here so it's a nice way to walk and the best seafood restaurants in andorra we accidentally came here but found out that this is the best so yeah you know the best goes to the best i mean come on now it doesn't happen just by you know like this wow this is marisco amazing pleasure bomb right here oh my god zapatero ah mira ahí es el zapatero like the president of spain from like a long time ago uh, enrique iglesias is dad iglesias este como se llamaba el enrique iglesias papa 
¿Eh? ¿Es verdad? Ese es el papá de Enrique Iglesias, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo se llama? No, ni idea. Uh, Julio Iglesias. No, no. Julio Iglesias, mira. No, ¿Dónde es Julio Iglesias? ¿Dónde es? Amazing restaurant, amazing service, and amazing people. ¿Se ve? Okay. Another activity that you can do is spa. Spa is very, very famous in Andorra. There's a lots of them. All because especially for the winter uh, when it's like you know snowy and everything everybody skis afterwards comes back and relaxes and all of these uh, spas I just got back from there as you can see my skin is glowing even though I was there for like half an hour but that's not the point this is another thing that you can do in Andorra is check out like the hotel I'm staying in here uh, they have their own um, this one, not the one I stayed before, that one was not. But this one has their own spa, so you can, and it comes like half an hour comes included with the price of the, the room. So yeah, that's what you can do. Now I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then uh, shower, because you yeah, look, I have my, <laughs> I have my dress washed up here. And then uh, uh, there's me over there. This is how I work, you see. My telephone and me go and work together because we are good friends. Mm -hmm. Another amazing activity to do in Andorra is rivers, lakes, and just walk around the city. There are so many beautiful little gardens that people like Huerta uh, are, I'm just gonna walk towards them so you can see I am trying to scream as loud as, as I can because what you hear right now is the river and it's super loud right next to me is like uh, the gardens and like La Huerta you see there and then right behind me here it's against the sun it's against the sun so it's the river, it's super beautiful and you see like people grow their things look at this, this is super nice and then we're having breakfast right in that window over there because this is the hotel, uh, the spa type of hotel see look at this, people are like sitting in their mini hard garden having food for some people to walk around with a camera like this and talking I had to uh, you know it took me some time to get used to it but there are some nice people who actually you know join in the party and just be like hey how you doing this week so it's kind of cool and right there I don't know if you can see it cafeteria with a terrace and you can sit there there's like an arc type of thing you can see over there you can just walk around there it's very beautiful and uh, look at this. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you on the next one. Bye.